Once again, we're in Antwerp City and today we'll be shooting on the Sony a7C2 anti-Samian 24mm f2.8. And this is a super tiny setup. Last time I shot with 35mm f2.8, but yeah, this is actually the first time that we're going to use the 24mm f2.8, so I'm curious what this tiny thing can do. Today is a pretty busy day in the city. I mean, obviously, the sun is finally shining again over here in Belgium. It's really nice to finally have the sun over here again. And obviously, the sun really gives this nice, harsh shadows. And we're going to try to visit some places in the city that I haven't photographed before because I usually go to the same places every single time. Let's start with the most obvious one over here. All right, that's sick. An Audi RS Q8 over there, which basically is my dream car. <laughs> if I want to get a horizontal one, I need to back up a little bit more. Like this. Yeah, that's better. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, maybe it could work, not sure yet. Maybe this right here is a better spot. I don't like the white van over there. Uh, this is a nice one with the people crossing the road. There are probably some other shots I could take from this place, but I don't like hanging around for too long at the same spot. So we'll probably go in this street right here. Burger King logo could look cool, even though we're a bit far away from it. Hmm. We need to look for some spots where we can play with the light and shadows. I mean, that's the thing you gotta do. With this kind of weather. All right, these were nice but I just missed the birds passing by. But it would be better to have a nicer subject going through it, like someone with more character or nicer clothes. Let's get a bit closer so I don't have all those subjects in the foreground. Yeah, maybe like this. so many places to look at and a lot of these photos will probably suck that's what we deal with as photographers right that's also the thing when it's this busy it's like hard to find one single subject and that's something that I actually prefer Something I recently started doing is look through the viewfinder way more because it really helps to focus on your subject and to really get a nice composition of your image. Because the outer world gets completely blocked out this way, you know? Mm, nah, too busy. Not the 
easiest to photograph with a 24mm but it sure does come in handy in all these smaller and narrow streets in Antwerp over here. Pretty decent. Damn, this is ugly as fuck. This is a nice narrow entrance over here. Never been here before. It's like the perfect spot for framing people when they're passing by. I actually wanted to go out in nature today when my girlfriend wanted to go to the city so yeah we went to the city once again but next time I promise you guys we will go out in nature there's some very nice shadows on this building like on the left side we have the shadows and on the right side the lighter part and then this nice stop sign over there I need to get a little bit closer Now we get a horizontal one as well. This is a nice building over here as well, especially because the bike right here has basically the same colors. So this will be a nice composition for sure. Oh, this is a nice little spot over here. Pretty decent. Uh, that'll make the photo better. A subject going through it. I'm not entirely happy with how the shoot is going at the moment. Maybe it's because we're once again shooting in the city, or maybe it's because of the 24 millimeter focal length, and it's a bit harder to compose anything else than buildings with this lens so this is a nice street over here with some very nice contrast could definitely make the shot work there we go So never forget to look behind you, especially if you pass through certain streets, because you'll never know what you can find over there. I really like these light dots over here. Maybe I just need to go on holiday again, because whenever I'm on holiday, I get really inspired once again, so. But I don't necessarily need to go on holiday for that. We could also just visit some spots in Belgium we haven't visited before. Some very nice light over here, once again. Oh, 
this is some very nice light over here. There we go. Maybe like this. And here are some other photos that I really liked while I wasn't recording on Osmo Action 4. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance of this lens, especially if you consider how tiny this thing is and how light it is. It weighs less than 100 grams, so I'm really impressed by that. In harsh lighting, it's not the best lens, I think, but if you consider the price, which is only $250, you can complain, right? And I'm not entirely sure how my 24 270mm G Master Mark II would perform in harsh lighting, so I might have to test that out in the future, but anyway, but anyway, if you're looking for a small and compact lens in your kit, then I definitely recommend this lens. But in most instances, I'd prefer the 35mm version of this lens because I actually prefer a bit of a tighter focal length. And if you're interested to see how that lens performs, check out my video over here. Thank you so much for watching. Come out. Peace.